Polynomials are algebraic expressions with two or more terms separated by either an addition or a subtraction sign. A two-term polynomial is called a binomial. A three-term polynomial is called a trinomial. Binomial, trinomial. For example, this is a binomial. Two terms separated by an addition or a subtraction. This is a trinomial. Notice how they are separated. We can write polynomials in descending order according to the value of the exponent. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, or in ascending order according to the value of the exponent. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now let's talk about the degree of the polynomial. The degree of the polynomial is established by the largest exponent found in any one term of the polynomial. If the term has more than one variable, we add the exponents of that term to determine the degree of the polynomial. For example, the degree of this polynomial is 6 because the largest exponent is 6. Another example, the degree of this polynomial is 7 because the highest sum of the exponents of the polynomial is 7. This other rule about polynomials is important. To raise an exponential expression to a power, multiply exponents. For example, x to the a to the b is x to the a times b, or x squared cubed is x to the 6. Or, if we make x equals 2, then 2 squared cubed is 2 to the 2 times 3, or 2 to the 6, which is 64. Another example. Here, all the contents of the parentheses are raised. 3 is cubed, and so is the exponent 4. 3 cubed is 27, and x to the 4th cubed is x to the 12th. Here is another exponent rule. Negative exponents, like positive exponents, may be written in descending order. Now, negative exponents are positive in the reciprocal, so that x to the fourth will be followed by x to the third, x squared, x to the one, or just x, then x to the zero, x to the negative one, x to the negative two, to the negative 3, to the negative 4, and so on. However, negative exponents may be changed to positive exponents in the reciprocal. As the exponents decrease and we reach the exponent 0, any number or expression to the 0 exponent becomes 1. This is because dividing exponents of the same value will reduce the value of the fraction to 1. So, automatically, anything to the zero power turns into one. Beyond the exponent zero, the negative exponents turn into fractions as a mirror image, so that two to the third is eight, and two to the negative third is one over eight. Two squared is four, and two to the negative two is one over four. Two to the one is two, and 2 to the negative 1 is 1 over 2, and so on. Another example. Multiply the monomials y to the fourth times 2y squared times 4y to the negative 3. To do this, multiply the coefficients. 1 times 2 times 4 equals 8. Add the exponents. 4 plus 2 minus 3 equals 3 and the expression is equal to 8y to the third. Another example. Divide this monomial. The x's, 5 minus 2 equals 3. The y's, 3 minus 6 equals negative 3. The z's, negative 2 minus 1 equals negative 3. Now, make negative exponents positive on the reciprocal. The y's and the z's turn out positive in the denominator. The answer may also be reached by solving negative exponents another way. 
In this way, we first resolve the negative exponents by making them positive in the reciprocal, and then reduce them like in a fraction. 2x cancel with 2x. 3y's cancel with 3y's. And disease cannot be canceled. And the answer, of course, is the same.